Warning, this video contains graphic images of real world events. The purpose of these images is not to glorify events that have happened, but provide context for educational discussion. Some images may upset more sensitive viewers who should view at their own discretion. My previous entry on real versions of sci-fi weapons focused on a purely kinetic weapon of one sort, a system called Rods from God which would drop massive tungsten projectiles capable of creating nuclear-sized explosions from kinetic energy alone. Naturally, the nature of kinetic-only munitions provides some advantages in the ability to deliver a lethal amount of energy in a controlled manner. Most importantly is the ability to precisely target an individual or group of individuals while minimizing the area of impact and the likelihood of injuring or killing others in the area. To use a crude analogy, if you have to take down a terrorist or attacker in a public place with innocents nearby, which is the more effective and safer weapon to use? A sniper rifle or a grenade launcher? This is exactly the idea behind the weapon we're talking about today. The AGM-144 R9X missile, which I will just call R9X for short going forward. The R9X is a modified version of the Hellfire missile and designed for a very specific purpose. Lacking a conventional explosive warhead, the R9X instead relies on kinetic energy and precise laser guidance, acting like a homing bullet to track its target precisely and strike it with great force. But the R9X has one more trick which it deploys shortly before impact. Six blades which extend from the midsection of the missile and rotate, creating what has been referred to as a blender motion. For this reason, the R9X has sometimes been referred to as the Ninja Bomb, or Flying Ginsu. Carried by a General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper drone, the missile can be launched from a height of 22,000 feet, a distance from which the noise of the launch cannot be detected and the missile can arrive nearly silently. It's been suggested that this missile has such great precision that it could kill a passenger driving in a car while keeping the driver alive, although whether this capability has been definitively proven seems to be outside the realm of public knowledge at this point. Most information available points to the R9X missile having been developed for at least the prior decade, with its prioritization increased due to the necessity of developing precision strike munitions which would reduce or eliminate casualties. Perhaps the most infamous use of such a bladed missile came during the assassination of Qasem Soleimani and Abu Mandi al-Muhandis on January 3rd of 2020. While it has not been confirmed officially, the majority of reports and outside analysis indicate that this was indeed the method of attack. This attack also demonstrated another advantage of kinetic munitions. The lack of conventional explosive payload preserved the organic matter of the body. Positive identification was possible through DNA evidence as well as the presence of a very distinctive ring which Soleimani was known to wear. It's now reported that the R9X missile has been used possibly as many as a dozen times since 2017, most notably in other high-profile killings such as that of Al-Qaeda Deputy Leader Abu Qair al-Masri. In photos captured after the attack, the level of precision with which the missile can strike is clearly evident, as even much of the car itself appears undamaged. Social media photos showing the aftermath of some of these attacks report to show a sizable metal blade left over from impact. Additionally, the body of one such missile appears relatively intact and still has a disclaimer indicating that it is a two-person lift item with a weight of 49 kg roughly 108 pounds. This matches the public descriptions of the missile which describe its weight as 100 pounds. As with many cutting edge weapons, it's hard to know if we have the full story or not. For much of its existence, it can be safely assumed that the R9X Ninja missile was under development and possibly deployment while remaining classified from the public. The full details may never be released, or maybe not for some time yet. However, it's not hard to see where this technology could go. Imagine, for example, a kinetic missile which weighs not 100 pounds, but 10 pounds or even less, moving at a hypersonic velocity. This could result in a weapon which could strike unseen at any visible target while drastically minimizing risks to those around them. As a reminder, these videos are meant to discuss real-world technologies and how they are blending the line between what we know as reality and science fiction. Please feel free to comment with any feedback below, but please keep commentary civil and informative. If you would like to see more of this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos. Subscriptions, likes, and comments are also the best way to help the channel gain more views from YouTube and other search engines. As always, until next time, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.